This time it's personal. Groups of black people are targeting the Apple stores for organized theft. That's a form of violence, by the way, if you did not know that. I've been to this store several times. It never really occurred to me to grab a, an iPhone or an iPad and yank it away from its security bindings and run out the door, but that's just me. Let's take a look at this latest story, plus a similar one, not in California, but in Philadelphia. Well, it's a gold mine for thieves, and now they're bold enough to do it, robbing an Apple store during business hours. These grab-and-go robberies are on the rise, and they're caught on camera. NBC Bay Area's Gene Ellie is in Pleasanton tonight. Yo, Gene. Raj, the Apple store here at the Stone Ridge Mall is a popular location for thieves. The Pleasanton Police Department has released surveillance video of four robberies since October, and this is not the only Apple store being hit. Apple stores are a busy place. The, the store is sleek, wide open, inviting. They're inviting to criminals in the East Bay. Pleasanton police released this video of four men walking into the Apple store at the Stone Ridge Mall last Thursday night. Watch as they suddenly grab display phones and take off. Employees stand watching as they get away with 10 phones. Customers say Apple stores are an easy target. They're really playing to the fact that it's an open and inviting area and distract full of distraction where people can really get in and out really quickly. Since October, Pleasanton police have released four surveillance camera videos of grab and go thefts from the Stone Ridge Mall Apple store. It's happening in Walnut Creek too. Police released this photo of a grab and go thief last month. When we stopped by the Main Street store, an employee closed the open doors and locked one. Note to the geniuses at Apple Security. This is what we call closing the barn door after the cows have gone. A move that makes it harder for people to get in and out. These two thieves have no problem getting out of that Stone Ridge Mall Apple store in October. No one is chasing them as they get away with smartphones. Pleasanton police say they're putting video images into a facial recognition database, but they're not landing matches because the images are too small. I'm not 100% I'm not sure you and I are supposed to know this, but they use facial, facial recognition software on drones flying around at 10,000 feet. And they can't get these guys from five feet? Down in Augusta, Georgia, a couple weeks ago, they tried the same thing at a Best Buy. Unfortunately for the criminals, a couple of members of the United States Marine Corps were outside manning a Toys for Tots booth. Uh, they, they took care of some business. Here's what happened. The subject was transported to the local hospital Two broken arms, a broken ankle, a broken leg, several missing teeth, possible broken ribs, multiple contusions, assorted lacerations, a broken nose, and a broken jaw. Injuries he sustained when he slipped and fell off the curb after stabbing the Marine, said the police report. That must have been some curb. Let's get back to the Philly story. As, as we watch these guys uh, loot the store in Philadelphia, AT&T store just a couple of days ago. It's uh, worth remembering some Steve Jobs stories. I mean, time after time, somebody would bring a product into him in a certain stage of development, and they say, that's the best we can do. I'm thinking particularly of the glass over an iPhone. It was it was breaking too much. It wasn't responsive. You know, the guy walked in and said, we can't, this is it. You know, and Steve started yelling at him. He said, go invent something that we need. And they, they sure as hell did. That's exactly what they did. They found a vendor to, to I think it was actually Corning, Corningware who invented it. And for that, we remember Steve as a mean person. So the movies tell us. But it is kind of amazing how often we see these episodes of black crime, black violence, which we know are wildly out of proportion and the best response our best minds can come up with is to shrug their shoulders and go, well, there's not much we can do about that. Hmm. You know,
you know, I'm not in the business of predicting the future. But you really do have to wonder how long, what are the long-term effects of having all this casual criminality out there without consequence. You have to, you have to really think about what, you know, how that's affecting other parts of our population who look at these and just keep saying, well, I guess it's okay to go in and steal a bunch of iPhones from the, from the Apple store, the AT&T phone. It's not hurting anybody, it doesn't seem like. Anyway, so next time you're at the Apple store, just remember two things. If you see a bunch of black people in there ripping off phones, they're probably not after yours. They're after the ones attached to the security cables. But there's no guarantee of that, that they won't grab yours as well. And two, just remember this. If you do find yourself in the middle of one of those situations, Don't make the black kids angry.